Good morning, gang. All right. So today I um why did I say good morning, gang? Anyway, um so this morning I am getting ready to pack and just do everything that I need to do because I am going to Cabo. I am getting ready to go to an event called um Busy at the Beach, and I'm leaving um tomorrow. Well, by the time y'all see this, I would have already came back probably, but um. Of course, I waited until the last minute to get everything ready, and I'm not even packed. Um, my flight leaves tomorrow morning at 9, and y'all know TSA is tripping right now. So, um, because TSA is tripping, I know that I have to be there at, you know, 6 in the morning and everything like that. So, you know, I really am cutting it close, but all I'm going to do today is go get my eyebrows done because I just like having really, really crisp eyebrows. Um, and the ladies that I go to, they really don't do a good job. But have you ever got like really amazing service from somewhere? Even though like they might not have done the best job, the service is still so on point that you can't imagine going somewhere else. Child, they massage my eyebrows. They massage my whole face and nobody else does that. So, I mean, I just keep giving them my little $8 because I just really like the experience. And my eyebrows do look good. Like, I'm not going to lie, but it's just not what I'm usually used to. I'm used to having those like crisp eyebrows because I don't do makeup. I don't um, do my brows. So, um, so I'm about to go to them to do my eyebrows and then I'm probably going to, um, go and try to find a couple more outfits. I know I'm not going to be able to find anything that's, um, beach-like or whatever if it's late in the game. I only have one bathing suit and I bought another one, um, that is, I guess, made or like branded for the event that I'm going to. Um, so I don't even have that many options as far as swimwear, but child, I'm not going to worry about it, like... It's not that big of a deal, you know. Everybody knows that I'm not fashionable or a fashion blogger or anything. So, it probably shouldn't matter or I shouldn't care what I'm wearing. Um, so, that's what we're just going to do with that. See you Sunday. Benzie, are you going to miss him? Oh, that's my big boy. Mm. 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 Hi. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm moving. Don't move. <laughs> I was talking about moving out. I'm moving out. Oh, you can do that, but don't move your body. <laughs> See you, Tay. See you later. Love you. Love you. Later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drip too hard, don't stand too close. You gonna fuck around, drown off this way. Hey, come on. Come on, I see you. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, so Tay and I just went to have lunch really quick because he's also going somewhere. I don't know where he's going, but he's going somewhere. Um, and so we decided to have lunch together because I won't see him before I leave for my trip to Cabo. Now I'm at Ross, and I hope Ross has something that I can use for this trip. I don't really know what I need, but I feel like I need something. So I just came to Ross anyway just to, you know, see what spoke to me i also need to get my eyebrows done i still haven't got that done yet and it's been like now it's been like probably five hours since i even did this freaking intro um so as you can see i didn't really get much of anything done but that's okay because we finna get my life together okay so ross did not work out at all they didn't have anything in there and that was not happening so i'm gonna try rainbow we'll see okay i have been out and about today I'm super excited because I was looking for some things for my trip to Cabo and Rainbow did not fail me. So usually, um, I'm just now starting to shop at Rainbow. I usually shop at Ross, but Ross has been tripping lately. Ross has been like only having old people clothes. Like I didn't know how else to say it, but like older women clothes. And I don't want to wear older women clothes. I want to wear juniors. So whatever. Anyway. I'm gonna show you what I got from Rainbow. It wasn't a lot of pieces because I wasn't trying to buy a whole bunch of stuff for the trip. I was just trying to buy a couple of things because I don't have any summertime things to wear and clearly it's gonna be hot in Mexico. So anyway, okay. So the first thing I bought was this really cute. Oh, everything that I bought, I bought on sale because I don't buy anything full price. Um, so I bought everything on sale. They had like a $3 rack, $5 rack, and then like a $7 rack. So everything is under seven bucks. Well, I think one thing was like $9, but whatever. So um, I got this cute little, um, it's, I think it's a crop top and it has like these cute little cutout sleeves and so this crop top was three dollars so that was a great steal and it's in a color that I really like so I'll wear it you know not just I, everything that I bought I made sure that I could wear not just at the beach because 
I don't live near a beach, so what's the point? So this is the most expensive item I got. It's some leather shorts. Um, I was looking for a pair of black shorts and I'm actually gonna go and try to see if I can find another pair of shorts because um, I really don't necessarily wanna wear leather on like a boat and stuff. So I don't know, but this was the most expensive thing I had. Sorry y'all. This was the most expensive thing that I purchased and um, they're really cute. So I got this really cute bodysuit. It's a mesh see-through bodysuit. It has like something that covers, you know, your bust area. But other than that, it is see-through. I'm really excited about wearing this on the beach and just, I think I'm gonna pair this with my shorts that I got to have some kind of like cute um, nighttime kind of outfit to wear. So I got this black cover-up. This black cover-up was five dollars and it's super cute and it's cut out in the back so i can only imagine how i'm gonna wear this outside of going to cabo but i'm super excited about this piece because like i said it has the cutouts in the back and just made it kind of look cool um it does have sleeves that's the only thing i wish i would have thought more about the sleeve portion but hey it is what it is um and I'm, I'm just gonna wear it as a cover-up. I probably will put on maybe some jeans or something. This will be something that I can wear when I'm walking around. So the last thing I got, it's not necessarily something for me to wear on my trip to Cabo, but I could not get it because it was only like five bucks. No, this was nine bucks. Oh, so I got two things that were nine dollars. Um, and this is a really cute pink, like hoodie looking jacket thing. I don't even know what people call this, but my favorite part is it has cutouts on the shoulders or the sleeve or whatever it is. I just thought that was so cute. So I'm super excited about wearing this. Lately, I've been more into wearing hoodie type shirts and hoodie type um, jerseys. So I'm excited about wearing this piece and seeing, you know, how it looks with whatever outfit I decide to wear it with. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring this with me to Cabo, but I think that I am going to um, definitely uh, wear this either traveling or something. I don't know. There's, I'm going to figure out a way to wear this on the trip. And if I don't wear it on the trip, that's okay because I can use it for like my blog content. So not a big deal. Okay. So I have not finished packing. Haven't even started packing. I'm not even going to lie. Haven't even started packing for my trip to Cabo. I am getting ready to go to Target because I need to get a rolling suitcase. So to my future children, in 2019, we have a president and his name is Donald Trump. No big deal or anything, but he has caused a government shutdown because um, a wall, he wants to build a wall and he wants Mexico to pay for it or whoever he wants to pay for it. Don't know, you know, but anyway, he is tying up everybody's money and he's getting on a lot of people's nerves, but that's just a side note. So Anyway, TSA has decided to quit, and since I am flying out of Atlanta, I have to be there super early because I need to make sure that I can get through TSA so that I can fly, um, you know, internationally. I think it's an issue for everybody. It doesn't matter what you're flying, but um, I'm flying internationally, so I need to be able to get through the line, so I have to go early because TSA has quit. So, that's what's going on. That's why I'm going to go get the rolling bag, and yes, that's it. Let's go get this rolling bag. Okay, so I finally made it to Target. Let me show y'all. So I finally made it to Target and here are all the bags. There's some more on another row. I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to get. I don't necessarily want, this one's cute. Right here. Not $125 cute, but okay. Excuse me, let me go on my business. So, let's see. These are all the hard case luggage. Hmm, I just need something quick. So, this looks like what we're going to get. I like it. And the good thing is, is that it says that they're carry-on approved. So, that's good. And basically, I get three pieces of luggage so I can figure out how I want to do that. So I'm also traveling with my um, with my camera, and so I'm thinking about getting a book bag, but I don't know if these are gonna be the right quality. If I hadn't have waited until the last minute, I could have found something that works. Hmm. So any photographers out there, let me know what book bag you guys use to travel with. That would be helpful. Child, Target be looking out for us. They got um travel size of the gorillas, gorilla, gorilla, gorilla snot stuff. I don't know, y'all can't see it, but I'm sure y'all know what it is because people be using it. I don't use it, but like, look, they got moves, like everything. Okay, now I see you, Target. 
so I'm back from Target and I just wanted to show what I finally decided on. So I did get the Skyline luggage package or whatever it is. It comes with three pieces of luggage and it's all carry-on sizes so that's great. And now I have a rolling bag so that I don't have to worry about carrying a bag um, through the airport. Then I got, so I needed to figure out something to carry my camera in. So I decided to get this laptop bag. Um, it's by Swiss Gear. And it's really cute. It actually holds a laptop, which is really nice. It has like a laptop compartment right here. So I'm excited about that. So I got that. I was supposed to stop shopping after that point. Child, that did not happen. Okay, so the other things I ended up getting, hope y'all can see, I had to put the camera up somewhere. So what I ended up getting is a cute cover up that says, child, my phone is always going off. I, I can never go without my phone going off but anyway it says just here for the tan lines so that's super cute i got this as a cover up and then i got a bathing suit that i need to try on to make sure i can fit it but it's super cute with the cutouts on the sides honey yes so that's super cute and it zips because i hate getting tan lines so i'm actually planning to unzip it to tan like the center part of me whatever and I mean, of course, I'm not going to show the whole world. Um, I got some flip flops and toiletries. That stuff doesn't matter. But that's the things that I picked up from Target. And now I need to pack. I'm about to listen to this webinar. Ooh, child. Y'all did not tell me. I'm just wide open out here. But anyway. Okay, so I'm about to start packing. But I want to show y'all what's inside of here. So I guess this is like a little laundry bag or something, which I'm actually going to keep in here for me to put my dirty clothes in and then this is the carry-on um i forgot what they called it but it's not a carry-on bag because this is the carry-on bag but this is called something else um basically you can put things in there and it's kind of like having a purse and then this is the suitcase and it has like a little compartment in the front i think it has a zipper on the front as well so we're about to start packing i've gained so much weight i can't even fit a large bathing suit I don't know what I'm gonna do with this um, thing because we, we bought um, bathing suits and I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit it. I know that shit right there, six piece bathing suit. What? That be a six piece bathing suit. You suck, Tyler. disregard the mess it's only because i am trying to finish packing and i'm editing today's vlog that's supposed to be going up i don't know why i keep choosing to post the vlogs this late at night so i'm trying to figure out what is the best time i should post the vlog so you guys let me know what time you want to see our vlogs and we will post them at that time i was actually trying to do like eight o'clock in the morning like something that's early in the morning so people can watch it throughout the whole day because I feel like if we post it at night there's going to be less people that are watching it so I don't know I'm gonna think about it but until I get myself on track and I'm able to record and edit the videos a little bit more in advance we won't have to do what to do for right now at least I am sticking with it so yes I think I'm gonna close out tonight's vlog and see y'all in Cabo